During the initial approach to Miami, Eastern Airlines Flight 401, a Lockheed L-1011, experienced a landing gear problem. When attempting to lower the landing gear, the flight crew was unable to determine if the nose landing gear was extended and locked. The green light, which indicates that the gear is properly locked down, had not illuminated when the gear was extended. The flight crew cycled the landing gear and on the second extension still failed to get a green down and locked indication. Because the gear did not indicate that it was safely down, the crew elected to perform a missed approach in order to troubleshoot the gear problem. The flight was cleared to climb straight ahead and maintain 2,000 feet. The flight was then advised to begin a left turn out over the Everglades. Once established at 2,000 feet, the autopilot was engaged. The entire flight deck crew then devoted all their attention to troubleshooting the landing gear. Following an unsuccessful test of the indicator lights themselves, the flight engineer entered the forward electronics bay to make a visual check of the landing gear. At about the same time, the airplane experienced a downward acceleration transient that resulted in a 100-foot altitude loss. The airplane then flew level for approximately two minutes, then began a descent so gradual that it was not perceived by the flight crew. After the slow descent had started, a single alert tone was recorded on the cockpit voice recorder, indicating that the altitude had deviated from the selected altitude by 250 feet. There appears to have been no reaction by the flight crew to the alert tone, and the altitude loss was not corrected. The NTSB speculated that the dark moonless night, coupled with the flight over terrain that was relatively free of lighting, contributed to the flight crew not noticing the descent. As the airplane descended through 900 feet, the approach controller, noticing the low altitude, contacted the flight and asked, How are things coming along out there? but did not question the flight crew about the low altitude. The flight crew then requested a turn back to the airport. The controller granted this request, assigning a new heading. As the flight crew acknowledged the new heading, the first officer commented on the low altitude, followed by an exclamation by the captain. Three seconds later, sounds of the initial impact were recorded on the cockpit voice recorder. It was later determined that the nose gear had been properly locked down and the indicator lights were both burned out. A safe landing would have been possible. Miami Tower, during Eastern 401, just turned on final. Eastern 401 heavy, continue approach to 9 left. Continue approach, Roger. Now I've got to try it down one more time. Eastern Flight 401 is on final approach to Miami International, runway 9 left. The nose landing gear indicator has failed to illuminate, so the crew cannot tell whether the gear is extended and locked. You want me to test the lights or not? Yeah, check it. Which seat back? Uh, Doug, it could be the light. Could you jiggle the light? It's got to come out a little and then snap in. Um, I'll put them on. Up to 2,000. You want me to fly, Doug? What frequency did he want us on? 28-6. Uh, I'll talk to him. All right, approach control, Eastern 401. We're right over the airport here and climbing to 2,000 feet. In fact, we've just reached 2,000 feet, and we've got to get a green light on our nose gear. Eastern 401, roger. Turn left, heading 360. Maintain 2,000. Vectors to 9 left final. Uh, left to 360. I think it's above the red one. Yeah, I can't get it from here. I can't make it pull out either. We got pressure? Yes, sir, all systems. Put the damn thing on autopilot. All right. See if you can put that light out. Well, you got to push the switch just a little bit further forward. Now turn it to the right a little bit. No, I don't think it's going to fit. Hey, get down there and see if that damn nose wheel's down. OK. You got a handkerchief or something so I can get a little better grip on this? Anything I can do with? This damn thing just won't come out, Doug. If I had a pair of pliers, I could cushion it with that. Could... Everyone is absorbed by the crisis, so they don't hear the audio alert announcing a change in altitude. Okay, the, the hell with it. The hell with this. Go down and see if that red line is lined up down there. Don't screw around with that 20-cent piece of light equipment. Eastern 401, I'll go out west just a little further if we can here and see if we can get this light to come on. All right. Uh, the autopilot has somehow become disengaged. 
The plane is slowly descending, and nobody is paying any attention to the altimeter. It's always something. We could have made schedule. Well, we can tell if the damn gear is down by uh, looking down at the indices. I'm sure An emergency down. landing with a possible nose gear problem is neither very risky nor all that unusual. It's an option the captain could be preparing for now. It's got to be a faulty light. Doug, this damn thing just won't come out. All right, just leave it there. Easton 401, how are things coming along out there? The controller's inquiry is too vague for the crew to realize he's asking about 401's surprisingly low altitude. Okay, uh, 180. Hey, we did some to the altitude here. What? Uh, we're still at 2,000, right? Hey, what's happening here? 